Hey Shack News, this is I got here. I just wanted to show you guys how I output my video and such to my home theater setup from my PC. I'm running Media Portal and I use this baby here, which is a Snapstream Firefly RF remote. The reason I use RF as opposed to IR uh, is because my HTPC actually is in a different room of the apartment. And the way I get the data to the home theater center is through this wire loom here. And inside of the wire loom, I've got a DVI to HDMI cable running alongside an optical cable, which runs to the setup here. So I've got the, um, the audio receiver down there, which takes the optical input, and the DVI goes directly into the TV. Now I'll show you guys how I launch my shit. Put it here on this tripod. Alright, so turn the receiver on. Get the TV going. Okay, so I wrote an application uh, which basically uses the RF remote. Uh, it will swap the primary and secondary displays on the computer so it sets the TV to be the primary display. Uh, minimizes all applications and it launches Media Portal. So let's try that now. That's just initializing now. Okay, so this is the main interface of Media Portal. And what I primarily use it for is for video watching, um, as well as watching some TV. And I got a couple emulators set up here. I just started playing around with that, though. It's not completely set up. Um, I'll just go through the video setup real quick. You can see here I got a list of my movies, uh, viewable in a film strip sort of manner. Uh, I normally try to get the highest encoded possible video. It's just a nice way to display the video collection. Uh, I'll show you guys what some of this stuff looks like. Uh, I'll try to find an appropriate thing to watch here. Sure, let's go with Transformers. to just about any point in the movie that I'd like. Bring up a little menu, it gives me some options to play around with. I can change the aspect ratio, languages, enable subtitles, all the good stuff. You can also minimize the video and go back to the media portal interface. Continue browsing, doing what I was doing before. Uh, now I'll show you guys the so television series. This yeah, stuff is pretty neat. Experts, uh, what it does is it organizes your TV series, gives you a nice breakdown, and a summary of all your content. So let's go into one of these now. I uh, just stopped the movie there. So we'll go and take a look at 24. Uh, the neat thing about this plugin is that uh, it will hide summaries for episodes you haven't seen, so it basically tracks what you've watched. Uh, you can see here it says hidden to prevent spoilers. Uh, it keeps track of all the episodes you've watched. It gives you a nice little breakdown, nice little images. The most impressive part about this is just how sleek it is, I think. Uh, you can have it set up so that whenever you add new content and media, it will constantly pull its sources. Uh, it gets the data off of a few websites to make sure things are up to date. The images you actually see in the background here, uh, you can see Adama here. You can customize how everything looks. If you're not happy with the images, you can download your own, or if you've got some you know, you know, images that you want to put together in Photoshop, you can do that as well. I'll just pick an episode here to watch. Fast forward a little bit. Just me. just a pretty neat interface, I think. Again, gives you some options here if you pull up the context Actually, menu. How proud I am to serve with you. you. can set bookmarks so many words. for the videos, things like that. Well, I am proud to serve with you, Lieutenant. And to call you my wife. Okay, let's get out of here. 
and I'll show you guys kind of what you can do with the emulators. I haven't actually customized any of this, so it kind of looks like garbage. You just have a text listing here. Uh, I've got my ROM set up so that I can kind of select them from here. And it should just launch them. I'm going to, this is not configured for full screen, so I'll use an SNES one. Alright, let's go with Demon's Crest. What I use to actually play these games is uh, one of these puppies. It's a uh, Logitech RF cordless doohickey. It's basically just like a PS2 DualShock. It's a little heavier, uh, wireless, whatever. I've got two of these so I can actually set up multiplayer when I got some buddies that come over. Yay, Demon's Crest. The emulator that actually gets launched is an external one, uh, so Media Portal is not active, unfortunately. I don't get the cool little interface options that I would with the movies. get the point. Okay, when I close down the emulator, uh, basically takes me back into the media portal interface. And I can continue doing my stuff. It's got a picture interface, it's pretty standard, you can just, you know, peruse your albums, whatever you've got, photographs, etc. Uh, music, same deal. Uh, the weather is pretty straightforward. I'm not too impressed actually with the default weather stations that it uses, but I'm pretty sure there's a couple plugins you can get to improve on that. Not that I use it much anyway. Um, that's basically it. I mean, the rest of it is pretty straightforward. Uh, I just wanted to show what's possible with Media Portal and how things behave and look. So, hope this was helpful for a few people. If you've got any questions, let me know.